Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in and for your continued support. And today we're going to talk about splat maps. So what is splat map? Splat map is essentially mask texture, which controls blending between several other textures, or you can use it for your landscape layers for natural foliage distribution. Especially when we're talking about 4K, 10K maps, it's also a very good idea to start with splat maps to give you kind of a baseline and then you can always go in and paint things by hand. But I would recommend starting with Splat Mouse because it gives you very predictable, natural result. And I should also mention this is going to be fairly small tutorial, very simple and short. And the software we're going to use is Unreal Engine 5.5 and Gaia. So again, without any further ado, let's get going. Okay, I deliberately picked this place so it looks very plain. So we can actually see what our layers are doing when they alter correctly. And so what is it we do first? Well, first of all, we need to export hype map from Unreal into Gaia. And how do we do it? We're going to manage, we're going to import, click on export, and we want this hype map. So let's just choose location first. And we want all tiles, and we want them in single map. So all we have to do now is to click export and we're done here. So let's open up Gaia and where do we start? Well, first of all, we need to import our hype map. So that's why we need file node. So to bring it in, just do right click, type in file, okay? And plug your hype map into it here. And there it is. Yes, it's a little bit too strong, but thankfully you can control it. You can change it here. Okay, change. In my case, the good value is 0 0.2. All right. I don't really want to be 100% precise in this. As long as it's more or less the same like in Unreal, I'm happy with this. Okay, so this is how you bring your hype map in. And then, how do we generate our splat maps? I usually pick um, nodes from this menu, from Derive. Okay. And in this case, moss, I'm just thinking moss will be around, say, where the river is, where water would essentially flow on the terrain, in wet places, stuff like that. So that's why I chose first node, flow, just to kind of define where the water would flow and then the second one would be height because I have river in my level and I want essentially this most to be generated above the water line and the third one is rock map I use it simply because I just would like to have extra noise in this path map just for, to look for the result to look more natural essentially okay again with all these you can just do right click type in flow you get flow map or height and so forth. All right, so we have these three nodes and now we have to combine them together. But before I do so, I like to use adjust node because it can say create stronger effect of these maps, you can invert it as well. Okay, and then I use combine node. Again, if I type in combine there you go that's where it is and plug those nodes into it so this is my first result you can see the water was excluded and that moss layer is essentially above the water all right so that's my first combine node done but then the second one will be essentially combining this result with my rock map which is literally just as a essentially noise generator so i just can see what happens. It's kind of a little bit noisier. By the way, if you want to have see more detail in your map, you can always change this, say, 2K to 4K. But I think the 2K is probably happy medium. It's fairly responsive. 4K gets quite sluggish. All right, so let's continue with this splat map and mix it one more time with rock map. And when we in this stage, when we finally can export our map into Unreal. In this case, I choose Unreal node for export. 
That's because my landscape 4K map is not 4096, but it's an Unreal format 4033, and that's why I'm using Unreal Node for export. And I also specify what kind of format I want to use, in this case PNG. And in terms of naming conventions, I prefer Mask. Okay, so that's essentially it. And then you press F3, which will essentially create this yellow icon, which means your layer is now ready for export. Okay, so you either click on this icon or you come here into Project, Build Settings, and here you choose your texture resolution, 4K map, and where you're going to save your textures in Build. So all you have to do now is click Build. Again, the same button is in Project, Build and Export, say Start Build, and it's happening now. So all the spot maps that were marked for export will get baked right now. So we just have to wait a moment. And when it's done, we just plug it into Unreal Landscape. And it's done. But of course, in real life, it's not done because first time you most likely won't be happy with the results. So you will be going back into Gaia and back into Unreal and kind of you simply need this iterating process to get your results spot on. Okay, so <clears throat> let's go back to Unreal now. And we need to plug those spot maps into our layers. So how do we do that? So we go into Landscape, Manage, Import. Make sure you're in Import mode. And you want to import layers. So we have spot map for forest, for moss, for stones, for dirt, for puddles. Okay, now we just plug them in. Okay, so once you specify location of your splat maps, all you have to do now is to click import. Okay, so now yes, let's just wait for it. Okay, and that's our new terrain. This is how it looks like. So it's all mixed up. You can see some moss coming through, forest layer coming through, little bit of dirt and so forth. Okay, so thank you very much for watching this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you did, please like it, subscribe, and I see you soon.